Hello, my name is Roy Ramos, and I am here today to talk to you about the use of the scoop stretcher. In many situations, the scoop stretcher can provide an effective means of immobilizing and transporting patients. I will first don my BSI. For this skill, I will be using gloves. If I believe there is a risk of cervical spine injury, I will direct my partner to maintain cervical spine immobilization. In this case, that is not a concern. I will size the scoop stretcher to an appropriate length and separate the two sides. I will place one side of the scoop stretcher under the patient. If I need to, I can log roll the patient slightly to facilitate positioning of the stretcher. I will now position the second side and secure the latches at the head and the feet. To make sure the patient does not shift on the stretcher, I will use a strap to secure the patient to the scoop. Also, I will place padding behind the head to maintain a neutral position and provide for patient comfort. Using a scoop stretcher can help move patients who may have long bone or pelvic injuries. These patients do not tolerate a lot of movement, so being able to slide the equipment under them can make movement much easier. Thank you for watching. Good luck and stay safe.